An icon of sorts is retiring from Einstein High School in Kensington after counseling students for half a century. Joseph Monti is 81 years old and during his tenure he guided thousands of students on their path to college. We were lucky enough to sit down with him and get some face time and he gave us a bit of his philosophy. Hi, to Susan see you. Kennedy. How nice to meet you. <laughs> I to meet you saw the lovely poster out in the front office <laughs> that they're. You got to sign it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Why are you retiring now? I'm retiring because I'm in love. My, my wife of 50 years, whom I met in a, cl in a classroom, said she wanted one gift for retirement for 50 years of marriage, and that was my retirement. <laughs> so, uh, as a good husband, what are you going to do with that? I probably, they might have carried me out of here, but now I'll at least walk out. Tell me about your day. What time does it start? Well, it starts very rigorously at 5.30 in the morning. I'm off to, to say my morning prayers. <laughs> Ask you how old you are? 81. You're 81? Wow, you could have retired 16 years ago. And we're going to go dancing. Let's go dance. <laughs> <laughs> the 17 year old is fascinating in that they are more idealistic than they want. Many of the things that they say no to, they mean yes. They're going to say no, and they're going to do what makes them appear to be part of the group, but at the same time, most of them are thinking independently, uh, more so than they admit. This is my man. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> and you have to let them sound off <laughs> and see through what do they really mean. What do you guys think of Mr. Monty? <laughs> Gonna miss him? Yeah. And they also will tell you a lot. Once the door is shown, closed, they don't have to worry about peers. They can go and say what they want because the peers aren't there to hear. And I think I can honestly say that Mr. Monty is the only one who competently and efficiently helped me out during the day. <laughs> tell me what the biggest lesson is that you can take away from your 50 years here. The biggest lesson is that you have to look at each of person you meet in a way that what do they have that they don't know they have. There's a, something also about human nature is that we underestimate our gifts. So our gifts are there. It's kind of bittersweet. You know, <laughs> one end he is an, an asset to the department. We would um, sincerely miss him and all of what he brings to the department. But on the other end, you know, Thank it's you. only fair for him and his family to be able to enjoy him and She's his right. time in retirement. So it's bittersweet. 